Our friend Jim showed up with his excavator. Close enough is good enough. It's been a long time coming. Hey, that's custom, babe. Doesn't look safe. Not close <laughs> enough yet. So we're getting set up to get to work. Unfortunately, we have to change gears a little bit today because... Our friend Jim showed up with his excavator. And that means we're going to be getting more rocks on this side and more dirt. But before we can put the rocks in dirt, <laughs> we have to finish up the back of the parapet wall. But before we do that, we have to... Move a bunch of dirt. It is a steep slope. We finally have a plan. It took us a little while, but we came up with what we think is a good way to finish the back of the parapet walls. The parapet walls behind the actual house have a layer of waterproofing membrane and then one or two layers of foam insulation. This caused the walls over the house to extend or be about two inches wider than the retaining walls were. To even it all out and basically solve this problem, Richie added two two by sixes along the top of the wall. Now we want to cover up and protect the membrane and the foam from being exposed to the elements and add a roof over the top, but we also want to make it look nice and finished at the same time. Some budget uh, material, roofing material. We got brown and green. The green is for the roof. The brown is actually for the back of the parapet walls. We got it on a huge discount because each one is damaged in some way. So we decided to use brown metal roofing, but that doesn't have any rigidity, so we decided to frame the back of the walls using pressure-treated two by fours on end. We framed the bottoms as low as we could, which was basically at the level of the rocks and dirt that we added last year. We also added vertical pieces every 36 inches on center, so that when we overlap the two pieces, we wanted something to screw them together and be able to screw into. You see that bulge of concrete right there in the middle? That's where we're gonna have to float around it somehow and make it all work. Close enough. But is close enough good enough? It has to be good enough because we're out of time. So it definitely does not like it. I think it's gonna look really good though. Oh yeah. 
been a long time coming. It sure has. I took the time to wash them. Well. <laughs> Close enough is good enough. Okay, first coat done. Holy cow. That looks really good. This is the hardest part. Well, next to that side. But one step at a time. Now. Jim can take his excavator, fill more rocks in here, and fill this in with dirt. Well, there goes that camera, whatever you call this thing, stand, tripod. Anywho, Rich is trying to plan the dog ear. We're constantly learning something new. It doesn't look safe. How'd you get that line? I took the I took this bubble and I just went right to the house with it. Good on the face, which is the part you're gonna see. Yeah, exactly. And that's the back side of the house where nobody's really ever gonna be looking. Alright, I'm gonna go. It's night, I'm cooking dinner, and we will see you all tomorrow. I hear a lot of noise outside. What are you doing? What? You started without me. I did. Just a little bit. <laughs> I watched the YouTube video and I decided to add this piece. <laughs> okay. You really need something along the face. And that'll... So then we didn't need to nip that. We didn't need to nip it. Because when you drop this down, I think it'll cover. So... Okay. Lesson learned. Yeah. That's right. Lesson learned. It's level this way. It's level this way. It's level... So it'll work. So it's good. We'll just make the other side match. Or not, because nobody will notice. Yep. Well, good morning, everybody. Rich and I are back at it. Good morning. <laughs> we are still getting ready. We have to finish this side so Jim can do his magic with his machine. Yeah, and rocks and dirt. <laughs> I'm going to take a piece of the brown L and I'm going to tuck it behind the tin and over the T111. And that way we don't have to worry about any green trim or anything over there. We'll put the green trim in the front. That way Jim can throw rocks and stuff all up against it. Yeah. Nobody sees this corner. Nobody sees this corner. Yep. Okay. This is going to be nice. You watch. It'll be great. Hey, that's custom, babe. <laughs> it doesn't get any more custom than that. Let's see if it fits. It's close enough is good enough. Yeah. <laughs> Not close enough yet. I got to come down a little and probably a little bit further in. Is that a good line? <laughs> A little here and a little there. Yeah, we'll do it tight. It's just ridiculous to keep your footing here without sliding mm. down deep on that. 
but that's... That's fine. Mm. We'll throw some rocks in there. All right. I'm just flying by my seat of my pants here. Yeah, it's going to be good. I think I'm close. It's close enough is good enough? No? Yeah, my hole got a little bit smaller. You got room. Just hit it over. Yeah, Did there it, it is. Open? Yeah, that's it. Boom. Oh, stop. <laughs> go too far. <laughs> Needs to go a certain distance. All right. Yeah. I'm going to get it behind the tin and around the... Yeah. Around that. I'm going to drop it down. That's yeah. nice. That's nice, honey. It'll be fine. And one mistake, right? What was the mistake? We forgot to bend some reverse. <laughs> some outside corners on the L. So oh. I did that one by hand. Not bad. It came out great. It came out great. This will be tucked away behind the thing. So All right. Fine. Well, you know what? Close enough is good enough. And yes. I love it. So he finished the T111 right on this end. He made a nice little piece of trim to cover it up and protect everything because tomorrow Jim starts moving dirt. So right now Richie is moving more dirt, making the pile bigger for Jim because he'll move that in about two seconds with this machine. So we figured out the back of the parapet wall it looks great, it works great, and we're just about ready for Jim to start tomorrow. So he's trying to stage some rocks that are easy for Jim to just drive down after he moves the dirt and grab. Never enough. We'll see how it looks by the end of the day. And that's the first scoop. <laughs> it looked like it was going to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> 